back home, my goodness. When I think of one word that could be used to describe Jesus, one of the main words that comes to my mind is strong. Because Jesus is strong enough to save you, he is strong enough to set you free, and he is stronger than anything that you can imagine. In Mark chapter 3, in verse 20, they start to tell us about a time when Jesus was in a house and there was a crowd gathering around him and he was casting out demons. When religious leaders saw him doing that, they accused him of being possessed by Satan, saying that that is the reason that he had the power to cast out demons. Jesus replied with a question. He asked them, how could Satan cast out Satan? And I think that the leaders may have been confused still because in verse 27, Jesus illustrated further by saying, who is powerful enough to enter the house of a strong man and take his goods? Only someone even stronger. Who's the strong man he's referring to? In this case, it would be Satan. And if you don't think Satan is strong, pursue a relationship with God and watch how strong he just might be. And his goods in this case are the weapons that he uses against you and I, like jealousy and hatred and any other other things that make our lives harder. But notice how Jesus didn't say, who is powerful enough to be your bodyguard? Or who is powerful enough to keep the strong man away from you? He said, who is powerful enough to go into his house and take away his weapons? Only someone even stronger because Jesus is even stronger. Jesus doesn't just go on defense for you. He goes on offense for you. Jesus is a two-way player. Any of my basketball players, you know what I mean. Now, he goes into Satan's house and takes his weapons and he deems the devil powerless against you who he calls a son or a daughter. And when you can't feel or you feel like you, you don't feel Jesus near you, you don't feel God near you, he is still breaking down Satan's door and taking away all his plans against you because Jesus is stronger.